Hello and welcome back to a new video here in the Trading for One channel. Today we are going to analyze the Starling Bank business account. Starling Bank is a UK based bank. So if you are living in United Kingdom, you can create an account by free. So you can start using and then you can add different functionalities. If you want to go one step further, you have different subscription plans to have more features and more benefits. We are going to explain this in detail. As I said here, more than half a million UK business already have an account in Starling. This is a 100% online bank, so you don't have any branches to go straight away to talk with someone, a real person. You have the possibility to do everything by using your phone or using your computer. As I said before, you don't have to pay anything at all to start using it, so you don't have to pay any subscription uh, at least at the beginning and it is a really easy to use app. They have customer support 24 7 and this is a really important point because as I said before it is a bank not a fintech so as it is regulated by the United Kingdom your account is going to be covered up to 85,000 pounds based on the financial service compensation scheme. This is like an insurance that the government provides to anyone that has a bank account inside the United Kingdom. And they also has a feature in order for the people to be easier to switch from the current bank that they are using to this bank in particular. This is a comparison with all the main bank accounts in the United Kingdom and it ranked first equals to Monzo. Monzo is another fintech that is really powerful and we explained it before in the channel. If you didn't see it, you can use the link that I leave you in the description to watch the full review. And the good part of this is 100% free, at least at the beginning. You have all these features by free and, and if you want to go one step further, if you want to have more features, for example, the business toolkit or a Euro business account or a US dollar business account, you can pay the different subscription plans based on your needs. So which are the main features of the free bank account or free business account? Well, it's not only available for companies. If you're a sole trader, you can also create an account by free with Starling Bank. They have different integration with different apps. For example, Zero, QuickBook. These are accounting apps. So in this way, if you integrate your business account with these companies, you will have an easier way to manage all your business and all your accounting. You will have a feature to capture the receipt all the bills in one place. You will have a free UK bank account, so you are going to be able to receive payments inside the United Kingdom and from outside, from all around the world with a swift bank transfer. As I said before, it's protected up to 85,000 pounds. There are free ATMs withdraw. This is a really strong point because in another banks or in other features, they charge you a lot each time you withdraw money from an ATM. But as I said before, this bank doesn't have any branch, but they use the post office in order for you to deposit or withdraw money in an easier way. You can use it to travel abroad. There are no extra fees each time you pay something overseas. So if you go on holidays and vacation, you don't have to pay nothing extra as another traditional bank does. If you have a traditional bank, each time you pay something overseas, they will overcharge you something, an extra fee, but this is not the case. So if you're a frequent traveler, it could be a really useful alternative. They have saving spaces that we're going to explain in detail. They give you the possibility to save money inside the bank and you will get uh, interest rate for holding the money inside the bank. You will have free UK bank transfers and also you can receive international payments from 37 countries worldwide. You can integrate your card with Apple Pay, Google Pay or even Samsung Pay. So if you want to use your phone instead of your real physical card, you can do so. And you will have all the traditional features, for example, pop-up notifications each time you receive a payment or you make a payment in order to control and have a real transparency of what you are spending the money on. Basically, on top of the free bank account, you can subscribe to different services. For example, if you need a Euro business account because you receive payment from different places around Europe, you can subscribe to this service and paying just two pounds per month, you will have bank account details inside Europe. So you can receive payments as a local from your suppliers, from your customers, or if you sell something, any type of service or product, you can also access to a US business account. So you can receive payments, for example, with a ACH transfers inside United States. So this could be really useful because you will have everything in one place and you can receive payments 
not only from Europe, but also from the United States as a local. So that could decrease a lot the friction with your customers to get paid. You will have all the personal finance functionalities, for example, instant payment notifications, spending analytics, digital receipts. This is quite useful, for example, if you want to understand in which type of things you are spending money on, you can understand the breakdown of your monthly spending and in that way you can understand if something can be cut in order to save more money. You can create different spaces, for example, if you want to save money to pay taxes after, you can define so and each time you receive a payment and a portion of that money goes straight away to that savings spaces. So these are really cool features that you can use. You can deposit cash in any post office. If you have a personal account, it's free up to $1,000. But if you have a business account, you are going to pay just 0.7% as a fee. And it's quite cheap in comparison with others alternatives. And you have plenty of alternatives to choose between because there are plenty of post office that you can use. You can get multi-director access. So if there are more than one person that want to access to this business account, they will have all access to the same business account could be really useful to track everything in one place. If you decide to use the free account, you are not going to pay nothing at all. Start using by free and keep using forever. You are going to pay just in case that you decide to subscribe to any of these alternatives. But if not, you can use all these features by free. To be able to open an account, a business account with this bank, you have to read carefully all the eligibility requirements. For example, you have to have a limit company registered in, inside United Kingdom. You have to provide evidence of your trading activities so they can understand if you comply or not with the requirements that they request. You have to pass the standard AML and KYC. Remember, this is a regulated bank account. So you have to provide a proof of identity, a valid photo ID, for example, your passport or your UK driving license. You have to have a smartphone and you have to provide different documents that they can request you in order to prove that you have a current business. It just takes 10 minutes to complete, so it's not so long. So you can do it and you start using this business account. If you decide to upgrade to this subscription, you can get, as I said before, an Euro bank account so you will have an even code so you can receive payments, for example, from Germany, from France, from Portugal or wherever country in Europe that you are making business with and you just pay two pounds per month. If you want to exchange, for example, money from pounds to euros or vice versa, you just pay 0.4% as a conversion fee. This is not too high in comparison with other alternatives. So each time you convert one currency to the other one, you are going to pay this, but they don't charge you any hidden commission or any extra sneaky extra fee like another traditional bank does, for example. So we'll have more currencies. They're planning to add more currencies in the future. You can even transfer money during the weekends and you will have one card attached to your bank account. You can spend with that in different currencies because the bank is going to exchange from one currency to the other one if you need it. It's secure because you will get your unique even code. Your bank account is protected, as I said before, up to 85,000 pounds. There is no interest paid on your euro balance. Remember this, if you have pounds in your bank account, you will get interest rate. But if you hold euros in your bank account, you are not going to get any interest rate at all. So this could be useful, for example, if you have to pay overseas suppliers or you have to receive payments from any customers in the eurozone, or for example, you have to rent European property as a business or receive payments for services in euros. So could be really useful to have in one bank pounds, euros, and even American dollars. So in this case, if you need a US bank account, you can also subscribe to that. You will get American details so you can receive payments from all United States as a local because you can receive ACH transfers easily. And even though if you need to convert some dollars into pounds, you are going to pay 0.4% as a conversion fee. The same that you have to pay with euros. They focus a lot in security and you can receive, as I said before, lock and bulk transfers that are called inside the United States ACH, but you have a daily limit of $25,000. But they believe that is a quite useful limit, at least at the beginning. This is important to know that you are not available to receive SWIFT payments inside the United States dollar account. So you can't receive payments from overseas into the USA nominated bank account. And also you are not able to receive 
wire transfers inside the United States bank account. So it's only useful if you receive local bank transfers, ACH bank transfers. Why could be useful for you? For example, if you want to receive payments from a supplier that lives in the United States, you can give them the ACH routing number and they can pay you straight away to your United States bank account. Or you can even rent property in the United States using your business account. This functionality is only available for companies, it's not available for sole traders. So this is not for you, it's only just for companies. If you have money into your bank account, you can get interest rate because you can put aside some money into a savings space and in that way you are going to receive a variable interest rate based on the current situations that is in UK. If you want to go one step further, you can use the fixed rate savings account that this is really really useful because you can get a lot more money you can get up to 3.25 percent yearly as an interest rate so if you want to decide to use that you can get more interest rate which are the benefits of these savings spaces you can put aside in an easy way some money in order for you to have that money to pay for something any type of service or even to pay your taxes in the future. It could be also automatic because if you want to use the rounds up feature, for example, if you buy a coffee, the app is going to automatically round up to the next pound in order to start saving money in an easier way. It's visual and organized. You will have all the money separate in different baskets. For example, if you are planning to save money for the next holiday, or to buy any particular thing that you want to buy in the future. I told you before that they offer this alternative. For example, if you want to set aside some money for one year, it's important to be clear that if you decide to use this functionality, that money is not going to be available for a whole year. So it's not possible to cancel this because this is a fixed interest rate. If you have some money that you are not planning to use it in the next year, you can park it in this specific savings account and you will get far more interest rate than traditional banks offer you. So the minimum amount of money that you can save in here is £2,000 and up to £1 million pounds, one year fixed year interest rate. Your money is guaranteed and the return is guaranteed because the interest rates are fixed. But remember that you are not going to be able to withdraw money from this account until the end of the period, for example, until the end of the year. In here you can simulate, for example, what happens if you decide to save £10,000 in this fixed saver account. You will get £325 per year because this is the 3.25% of 10,000. You can simulate in here how much money you are going to get based on the money that you decide to save in this bank account. In here you have the most frequent asked question. If you want to understand more, I will leave you the link in the description in order for you to read the whole thing. As I said before, you can use all the post office in order to deposit and withdraw money. There are more than 11,000 branches around UK. So it's really convenient because this is more than all the ATM of all the UK banks combined. This is quite useful because this bank is 100% online, but they have an agreement with the post office. So in reality, you will have more alternatives to deposit or withdraw money than with a traditional bank. They have a really good coverage because, as I said here, 99% of population live within three miles of a post office. So no matter where you live, you will have a high probability that you are living really close to any post office. You can use this to search based on your post code, for example. If you have a business or a sole trader account, you are going to be charged 0.7% of the amount of money that you are depositing. But if you have a personal account that we explain in another video, you are not going to pay nothing at all up to 1000 pounds. And here they explain you how it works, the deposit and withdraw functionality. And if you are a sole trader, for example, if you sell something, but if you don't have a big company, you can even though use this alternative in order for you to boost your business and get more alternatives to receive payments from the whole Europe. And for example, you will have all the functionalities that we explained before. You can integrate with different apps in order for you to manage all your business in an easier way. You will have the savings basis. You will be able to deposit cash or checks using the post office. So no matter if you are a sole trader or if you have a big business, you can start using Starlink Bank in an easier way. Multi-currency accounts we explained before. 
Nowadays, they offer the possibility to open a European bank account. You will get the IBAN code, or if you have a company, you can even get your USA dollar bank account to receive payments as a local in the United States. But they are planning to introduce more in the future. We are working to bring you another 25 foreign currencies bank accounts. So nowadays, they only have two, but they are working to introduce 21 more. If you want to upgrade your account, you want to get your business toolkit, you will get all these extra features. This is not free, this is going to cost you seven pounds per month, but I believe that is quite useful if you use a lot your business account or if you have a big company. You will have a lot of features in regard to invoice, to automate your expenses, if you want to pay every month to different services that you are currently using, you can automate that in order to do easier than before. You can set aside some money each time you receive a payment in order to save money for paying taxes in the future. In that way, you're not going to have any surprise. This is a really useful tool and you will have full visibility of your expenses. You can track everything inside your app. So no matter if you are a freelancer or if you have a big company, you can start using this alternative you can use this bank from your computer, not only from your app. This is quite useful because sometimes it's easier to have everything in your uh, notebook, not just with the app in the phone. For example, if you compare with other alternatives, other fintech, they only just offer you the possibility to use the phone. But in this case, you can also use your computer. In here, they have the full list of the different features and benefits of upgrading to this subscription, the business toolkit. So if you have the free account, you will get all these features that we explained in the past. But if you upgrade to this other alternative, you will get all these other features we just explained. If you prefer to use your computer rather than your phone, you can watch everything with the big screen. So it could be more convenient and you will have more features in order to track all your expenses. You will have real-time data, you will have spending insights in order to understand if you are spending a lot of money in any particular thing in order to cut some cost and increase the amount of money that you can save every month. And I didn't talk about this before, but you will get your real debit card that can be delivered to your home. And with that debit card, you can use it to buy in any merch around the world that accept MasterCard. They have a contactless feature, they have a chip, and you can track everything that you are spending money on with this card. You can control the access and manage payment all with the app or with your computer. Even you can download some statements to understand in which you are spending money on. You can deposit any check. You can take a photo and that's it. You can, in an easier way, you can transform that check into your phone. In that way you can get paid. It's quite nice to use it, but it's only available for checks below 1,000 pounds. And finally, if you want to integrate your bank account with different services, for example, in here you have the whole list of the companies in which you can integrate your business account with. So you can search if you need something regarding HR or security, insurance, accounting, payment, pensions and communications. You can integrate your bank account with these other companies. So to sum up, I believe that's quite useful this alternative if you have a business to start by free. And if you need more services or benefit that we explained today, you can upgrade to a different subscription. I believe that it's not so expensive for all the benefits and the service that they provide. And if you want to understand other alternatives, we explain other alternatives in our channel. So we explain Monzo, Wise, N26, Revolut and more. Every fintech and bank offer a business account, so you have plenty of alternatives to choose between. Remember to subscribe, to leave a comment if you have any question and we will see you on our next video. Bye.